Welcome back, welcome back, wonderful pupils of Practical Computer Comprehensive School. How have you been? Yes, this is another tutorial video and we are looking at the subject, Religion and National Values for Basic 4 is your auntie, Miss Genevieve Onyekwere. And our team on the Religion and National Values is what? Civic Education. I repeat, Civic Education. Again? Okay civic education and the topic we are looking at is the meaning of social injustice social injustice injustice is something we observe around us it is just like corruption and it is just like conflict it is just like a whole lot of things and in some cases and in some areas in the country or in the world it is mostly experienced it is always experienced it is something that happens regularly, especially in Nigeria. So we will be talking about this as our topic. And all you have to do to understand better is to pay close attention. Next, let's look at what we have, which is our learning objectives. So based on what you're seeing on your screen right now, they said by the end of this lesson, you should be able to one state the meaning of social injustice Two, explain the instruments or weapons of social injustice that is those things that make someone to do what to act unjustly unjust to act unrightfully to carry out, carry out unlawful or unrightful or illegitimate acts on someone else We'll be understanding this better while we go through the lessons. So let's look at what we have next on our slide. The meaning of social injustice. Social injustice, as you can see from your screen, is an act or experience of marginalization. It is an act which denies people of their God or constitutional rights. It is the state of not being fair to others. When the rights of a set of people are denied, it is called social injustice. Right to religion. Right now, I'm teaching you this thing, and we could observe that somewhere around October, sorry, 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 around August, the third week, or early fourth week, around Monday, or what? Something happened at Enugu. The policeman killed a whole lot of IPOB members where they were worshipping, where they were praying. You can see this as an act of infringement, denial on the right to do what? To worship who you want to worship. Right to religion. Right to freedom. So they infringe their right and that act is an act of what social injustice when somebody stops you from doing that thing you want to do when someone prevents you you have every right like now you have every right to learn so anybody that stops you or prevents you from learning as a child is infringing your right to learn in other words is denying you the right to learn and what do you have to do about this Yes, you tell me. What do you have to do about this? You fight for your right. You get it? Right. So now let's look at how people indirectly deny us our right to do what we ought to do. This is known as the instrument of social injustice. Bad leaders make use of certain instruments to prevent or to maltreat people. And some of the tools or weapons they use to enforce social injustice are intimidation. If you do this, I will shoot you. If you do this, you will go to prison. If you dare talk, if you come out and protest, protest, say you're fighting for your freedom or your rights, I will do what? I will capture all of you and strangle you to death. And you wouldn't talk again because you've been intimidated. You've been threatened. Intimidation, they say they will arrest you. Allegations, they will blame, they will make false allegations on you. They will 
just blame you for things you didn't do and you will carry out the consequences of those things you didn't do violence and influence next is population like the saying goes the majority carries the vote a few number of people may be in a class of 10 two people don't like the window closed why eight likes it closed and normally the windows should be open but just because eight wants it closed because they're doing something bad they want the windows closed you now close the window because the people that want it closed are more than people that want it open if you talk they will subdue you they'll beat the two of you up and you have to shut up that is what social injustice a larger group of people can use their number or majority to deny the minority their rights especially the bourgeois they deny the proletariats their rights the bourgeois are those that are influence influential the rich the wealthy sometimes the wicked rich ones take advantage of their fellow human beings that are poor just because many of them are rich the former unions take advantage of the poorer ones because they are few this is also a weapon of social injustice and next we have our laws and constitution there are certain clauses in the constitution certain statements certain rules certain regulations that are stated in the constitution that favors some people and doesn't favor the other people as it is observed that we have bias in the rule in the in, in the um in the contents of the constitution certain clauses like now the president has the right to um, um, forgive a hardened criminal that has been sentenced to death and the president also they said there is there should be what accountability the governor or the leader any leader should tell the people what they are doing and now they in other words the president or the governor when he does something bad you can't attack him while he is on seat you only wait for him when he comes down from seat when he's no longer a governor you not sue him because he can't sue him on seat he is busy working for the state or the country you see all these things favor them that's why when they are on that seat they take advantage of the people that are below so these clauses needs to be what amended we need to make things put things straight when you say there should be disciplinary measures nobody should be above the law these are parts of the constitutional rules but sometimes somehow some people are above the law and the constitution also protects them so you see there is bias there is conf confusion in the constitution so all we have to do is to do what amend the constitution such that yes is yes no is no and next is education yes when you stay among people that are highly educated education is different from wisdom you might be wise you might be gifted by the holy spirit to see things differently from where other people see it, see them so now because one is having or bagging a uh, uh, um, first class or whatever it is in a particular course when he or she speaks they speak with automatic this is how it should be done any other way is wrong because of what i am educated and you are an illiterate and that is so wrong that is so wrong and next is force i talk about people with power people that has influence if you talk too much about that they are right they will call army for me for you army will beat you up police will come and arrest you and put you in cell so you have to shut up they use all these forces to subdue the less privileged who are you that is it they call you shioke and you can't do anything because really you are a less privileged you don't have money to pay the army or the police and the army and police right now in nigeria sometimes they don't stand for what is right they stand for who has the higher money do you get it so now with this we become less privileged to defend our rights and thereby 
those that are highly privileged take use of this and intimidate and subdue us and prevent us from doing that which are rightfully to be done by us. So you can see the instruments of social injustice. Play this video on and on and on again so that you could understand better and you can answer the questions waiting for you at the class activity section. That will be it for right now. Have a nice day. Stay safe and stay educated. Bye.